B is 6 to the right and 6 up, so we now will go 6 up and 6 to the left. Here is the new triangle. And the best way for you to figure out where these points are is to graph it. It honestly is the easiest way. And to try to figure out these coordinates with a formula like we were able to do with the previous problems is very difficult. So when we, I give you these problems, it's going to be a straightforward rotation. It's probably going to be a 90 degree, 180 degree, or 270 degree rotation about the origin. So it should be very easy to figure out where these points are if you just understand what a rotation is. So looking at this, we realize that A corresponds with M, meaning we have the new point, negative 4, 4. B corresponds with O, so we have the new point, negative 6, 6. And C corresponds with N, giving us the point negative four, negative four, seven. And that is the answer to example two. I didn't give you any homework because example two was so long. If you want to look at some more examples, you feel free to use your textbook or ask me. You are also welcome to go back and make sure that you understand how to do the examples that you are given.